So, hi. Today I'm back with another bullet journal video, and this time it's October. We're so close to the end of the year now, which is absolutely mad. My 21st birthday is only a month away, which is absolutely crazy. Sorry for my voice, I seem to have been struck down by freshest flu. I'm a lot better, but I'm not quite there yet. So this time I've used a variety of different pens, as always though. I'm using my Muji black gel pens as I love writing with them, especially the 0.38. So of course, very predictably, I'm doing a Halloween theme. At first I was going to do some pumpkins on my title page, but then I thought it would be interesting to have a lot of different Halloween colours and think of as many spooky things as possible. So I decided to incorporate a ghost, a witch's hat and a skull above my title, and a cauldron, pumpkin and black cat below my title. Also on the previous page is part of a three page uni spread I decided to create to keep track of my university events and deadlines this term. Usually with my title I use one theme colour, however this time I decided to jazz it up a little bit using purple, green, orange, red and adding a little blood, blood splatter. Then as always I did my daily gratitude log and decided to continue with this colour theme here. If you are curious I used the Statler Triplus roller pens for the majority of the decoration on this page. They're really smooth as they're rollable and the colours are really vivid. Next, as always, I moved on to my calendar page. I did a letter for each day of the week in my purple Stablo felt pen. I wanted to make this much more illustrated as I wanted to add some more Halloween iconography such as spider and a bat. I also drew Jack Skellington in the corner as if you didn't know, I'm a big fan of Disney. I decided to continue my green, orange and purple theme here too, as they are colours I really associate with October and Halloween. I'm not sure about the green that I used on my calendar, as I thought it would be a little bit more neon, but oh well. I'm again doing my little YouTube subscriber tracker, then my to-do list title again, as this came in handy last month and I completed everything I planned to using this list. I'm now doing my YouTube trackers. I've done two so far in case I can't upload as much as I'd like as I didn't manage to get as many videos up as I wanted to last month. It's always a little overwhelming jumping straight back into uni and getting used to it all of them. But if I manage to do other videos I will add some more. And with that my calendar page is finished. I may add changes or additions if I can think of ways to use the spare space, but that's it for now. Now I'm going to do my weekly spread. I'm so happy because this month starts on a Monday so I can finally show you how my weeks tend to look. However, this time it means I can't use the spare space for habit tracker. I may put these at the end of my month seeing as there will be a lot of spare space here as it ends on a Wednesday. I'm not sure of it yet though because I didn't keep up with my habit trackers too well last month. So for this first week I decided with an orange theme, but I'm thinking of doing a different colour for each week just to make it look a little less boring. As always, I drew out my sleep tracker, 
this time I incorporated a sleeping ghost as I thought it would add a little something to the spread and I thought it would be cute. I made a little mistake here with my sleep tracker so I added some glittery silver tape which I got from Primark a little while back in a pack of three. So that's my October bullet journal. I'm very happy with it, especially the title page. I really want to incorporate more into my journal, but I'm lacking inspiration, so if you have any ideas of things I could add, let me know. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.